Please wait while I verify your identity. Identity confirmed. Please proceed. And welcome to the Counter-Terrorist Special Training Facility. Please proceed to the elevator. They are waiting for you in the training areas. <laughs> this facility is always processing the latest data from around the globe. They are waiting for you. The elevator is just past those cubicles. I need to get back to work. I got a lot of data to look over. Can we talk later? I'm sorry, I'm busy now. Please, no distractions. What's that? I'd love to talk to you, but this is not a good time. The training here is pretty intense. Some doors will require you to 
press use to open them, especially in areas where stealth is important. Walk up to this door and press your use key to open the door. To close the door, simply walk up to the door and press the use key again. Hostage rescue zones can be identified by areas where the hostage rescue icon is visible. To lead the hostages to the rescue zone, you must approach a hostage and press the use key. They will follow you until they reach a rescue zone, or until you face them and press the use key again. Let's get the hell out of here! Get me out of here! Oh, my life. Leave this civilian to the security panel near the door. He will bypass the security and allow you to proceed. Yes, I'll do what you say. training and firing weapons, reloading, mode switching, accuracy, and finally, explosives. Pick up your weapons and proceed to the firing station. If you run out of ammo, step to the ammo window for additional magazines. Also, try to reload during pauses, rather than running out of ammunition at a critical time. Okay, squeeze off a few rounds to get a feel for your weapon. Notice when you fire, your crosshair expands with each shot. The size of the crosshair represents the accuracy of your weapon. The wider the crosshair, the less accurate your shots will be. To be effective in the field, use short controlled bursts to ensure accurate targeting. Engage three targets to continue. On your weapon, press the secondary fire key. Engage all the targets to continue. Good job! Time to change weapons. Pick up your next weapons and proceed to the firing station. All sniper rifles can zoom in on a target using the secondary fire key. Engage all the targets to continue. Good. Pick up this high explosive grenade. Toss the grenade at the target to continue. Finally, pick up the flashbang and smoke grenade. Flashbangs temporarily blind enemies, but if you look at it when it explodes, you'll be blinded as well. Turning away from flashbangs when they're about to explode will limit the blinding effect. Smoke grenades also temporarily affect your enemy's ability to accurately attack. Very useful in crowded firefight situations. All your right, offensive team. weapons Sound training up. is complete. Please advance to the next area. Take cover! Ah, damn, flashbang! Damn, smoke, where are they? <gasps> There's too much smoke. I can't see.
there's too much smoke. I can't see. Kevlar armor is essential to your survival in the field. Pick up your armor and proceed to the hazards area. If you pass through fire or steam, you will see a heat damage icon light up. Directional indicators at the center of your display show you where damage is coming from. supplies for a single recovery, some kits can be used more than once. To use a med kit again, look at the remaining first aid items and press use again. Once the first aid items are gone, a med kit cannot be reused. Welcome to the counter-terrorist special equipment training. The first piece of equipment you'll use is the blow torch. The blowtorch can only be used in blowtorch zones. A blowtorch zone can be identified by areas where a blowtorch icon is visible. Walk up to the table and pick up the blowtorch. Select the blowtorch and look at the lock on the door. With the blowtorch selected, press your fire key until the lock is destroyed. The next piece of equipment is the radio control bomb. Like the blowtorch, radio control bombs can only be used in radio bomb zones. Pick up the radio bombs and plant a bomb on the equipment. Once a radio bomb is planted, take cover and press the fire key to detonate the bomb. Go out. 
You'll need to press your night vision key. Navigate the night vision area to continue. Please return topside for processing. 